Yo, what's up guys? Today I will talk about heat the power in Model 3 in cold weather. So um, I recently went to Lapland, to Rovaniemi, uh, to yeah, have some fun over there with Wifey. And I ran across uh, really cold weather, minus 20 degrees Celsius. So we were uh, doing this uh, Aurora hunting where we stand by. Uh, it was on a frozen lake, just waiting for the Aurora. And then during the night, it was actually the coldest time was minus, uh, it was minus 24, but it's, it was hovering around 19, 20 roughly. So I wanted to see how much power or yeah, basically how much power does it use to maintain heat in the car. So it was me and wifey and we also went a little bit in and out of the car. Sometimes we took some shots when the, some of the Aurora came and then we went back in. So that meant that we had to open and close the doors from time to time and we lose some heat there. Um, and if you look here, okay, so this is the, the recording I started with. It was, we started at 21, 27 and at 80% or 79.9. And uh, what else can we see here? Okay, it was a nice and warm battery, 20 degrees. I think I preheated earlier to 27 or something. It usually preheats 27 on the battery. Um, and you see that, uh, well, okay, ba back then it was minus 18 and we were just camping in the car. And there's one thing though, I talked about this before, which is that um, the car, when you are in normal mode or even in the, in the keep climate uh, mode, keep climate control on, then it will alternate between um, uh, recirculation on and off. You can hear it, uh, there's this, it, it, you can hear it, it's like a sound like and then suddenly boop. It has this boop sound, which is that it opens and closes the vent for uh, uh, outside air. And okay, uh, you see that uh, for example, Right now, it's probably recirculating because you see, it's only using one kilowatt. <laughs> that's that's freaking freaking low, man, to maintain heat. Uh, but it will alternate, like I talk about. And then let me see if we can find. Uh, I guess you can speed it up a little bit. Uh, let me see if we find a time where where it. Uh, um doesn't alternate uh well okay, hard to tell there maybe there maybe uh maybe there it uses 1.5 kilowatts um but there's also one other thing you should notice is that if we pause it for a bit you see that we use about 1.3 kilowatt for heater but the car sucks 2.3 kilowatt i consistently see this that the model 3 for some reason uh, uses something. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is. Um, it constantly uses some some heat. I mean, some some not sorry, not heat. Some some energy or whatever to to just run the car. The, I don't know if it's the pumps. Well, I mean, the, I guess the fans are sucking. Let's say two hundred watts. Some of the pumps. Uh, the the screen is taking two hundred watts or something. Uh, I guess all of that adds up to one kilowatt. But I believe that with um, with Optimus Prime and Model X, it was lower. So I'm not sure what the heck the Model 3 is doing. So, you know, I always blame the Model 3 for being inefficient when it comes to heater, but the mistake that I did was that I only look at this, this variable here. Uh, but if I actually look at the, the heater, I would see that the heater is not the one to blame. It's just that the car wastes energy on the pump and whatever. I don't know what the heck is doing. Mining bitcoins, making Elon rich. <laughs> no. So, um, all right. Um, but anyway, if we skip uh, here a little bit, let me see if we notice anything special. No, not really. Okay, so um, uh, I will show you another clip then. Okay, this is a pretty long one. I recorded for one hour and um, okay, it's it's getting s slightly colder, uh, 19, minus 19 degrees Celsius now. Oh, I think we went out to the car, by the way, here. Um, and and I forgot to switch off, uh, switch on the heater, but then we came back in again. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 see here, here, interesting. Um, uh, here we went, we left the car, okay, I guess it was to shoot some uh, Aurora, and then we came back in, okay, let me speed it up a little bit, came back in and you see that the heat ramps up, boom, 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 2 kilowatt, oh, 2.5 kilowatt, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, oh, 3.8 kilowatt, oh, 4 kilowatt, see, it goes pretty high, but it only does this for a short while, uh, you can also see uh, the clock on top there. Uh, it doesn't run it too low, uh, too long. 
only for uh, for a couple of minutes and then it drops so this is normal behavior um, usually when you pr start preheating it will run it for a little bit longer but again usually not longer than about five minutes then it starts stepping down again um, so okay uh, not not much report here we skip a little bit um, yeah, I'm not sure what the heck. Oh, front, what the heck? That's, that's some some stuff is stuck here. Uh, but you notice something that um, uh, the temperature in the pack is is dropping. So it was 20 when we started, and it slowly drops because uh, we we just stationary. Um, okay, let me see. So after it was 21. Uh, so after one one and a half hour, we are down to 10 degrees Celsius in the pack. Okay, and then okay, let me check some other files. Okay, let's see. Now it's getting close to midnight, so it means about two and a half hours of camping. And surprisingly, we, we are down to 72%. Remember, we started with 80%. We are down to 72 I'm like, huh? I spent only 8%. I was expecting more. So you can see consistently that it's pulling about one kilowatt. Uh, these two combined, I guess, plus that, well, you have to count. I'm not sure how the other cars count the heater part. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I know. Uh, for example, in the Koreans, Kona, Ionic, well, the newest Ionic, uh, e Nero, e Soul, they also have this meter for showing you electronics, HVAC, and propulsion part. And the HVAC part is only for heat pump or heater. Uh, and then the electronics is the one for uh, fans because <laughs> if you run the heater, you will also use the fan and the HVAC, you know. Uh, so here you see that um, right now we are spending 1.1 kilowatt. That's only the heater part. And then, of course, the electronics might stuck another two, 300 watt, which is not counted here. But of course, this is less efficient than uh, heat pump. But at minus 20 degrees Celsius. How efficient is really a heat pump? I'm not an expert on this. Maybe you guys can tell me. Uh, it might just be that uh, I should try this again <laughs> with, with uh, let's say, uh, an e Niro or something. Well, that's one of my favorite uh, Korean cars. I should try this at minus 20, see what happens. How much power does it suck? But I suspect that uh, the power consumption might be about the same as uh, uh, a Tesla with PTC heater. Um, okay, what else should I say? Um, I'm quite surprised that it uses so little energy for heater. I was expecting four or five kilowatt and worst part, you know, but it's only one, you see, one, one and a half kilowatt roughly. Um, yeah, okay, let's uh, check another file then. Okay, this is near the end. Um, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> yes, we stayed up quite long. Yes, 2 a.m. We've been hunting uh, auroras all night, camping in the car, cooking noodles. Yes, I forgot. We also used the 12 volt to, to cook some noodles, but uh, the water was already preheated. But okay. Uh, and if you look at the checkpoint time at, let's, okay, we started at uh, 21 27. So if you skip to, we skip it to 157. That means exactly four and a half hours of camping. And we have 63.4% state of charge. We started with 79.9, so we spend 16.5% only. That's pretty that's pretty amazing, man. 16.5%. Okay, so if you divide it by 4.5 hours, it will be let me check my notes here, it'll be 3.67% per hour. <laughs> okay, and um uh, also, how much is that in energy? Um, based on 70 kilowatt hour of available energy, uh, it becomes 11.5 kilowatt hours. Okay, that's the energy, kilowatt hours. Okay, and then if you divide it by 4.5 hours, it becomes an average power, okay, kilowatt power of 4.56 kilowatt. And um, like I mentioned, the car spends at least one kilowatt uh, of computers. Okay, the lights were on a little bit, fans, whatever. So it means that the heat, average heat of power was only one and a half kilowatt at minus 20. That's, that's awesome, man. <laughs> and also it seems like, okay, the car is more or less consistent. It, it doesn't use that much power uh, in minus 20 versus minus five or zero uh, when it comes to heater. Okay, I probably use this a little bit more, but let's say only uh, half kilowatt more. 
So again, you guys shouldn't mix up kilowatt and kilowatt hours, especially in this video, it's very important to not mix them up. So kilowatt hours energy, kilowatt is power. So when I talk about power, heating power, it's kilowatt. And then of course, the energy you spend during four and a half hours, that's kilowatt hours, okay? Yes, um, but wow, um, what else should I say about these numbers? Okay, you see now, now it's not recirculating by the way, it's sucking in, so suddenly I'm using two, over two kilowatts, uh, two and a half at some times when it's t taking in that cold area, yeah, it's minus, uh, I, th I think sometimes it was also minus 21, uh, let me see, do we see 21? I see 20, minus 20.5, okay, I skipped a little bit back and forth here, um, but again, I wanted to make this video to point out that, you know, when I complain about um, it was in Schlefte or it was around zero, it wasn't, it wasn't that cold and I was consuming uh, 2.5 kilowatt, okay, not kilowatt hour, kilowatt, I shouldn't waste time doing all this, you know, you guys should know better. Uh, but um, I complained that the new camp mode was inefficient because um, it consumed uh, or it was pulling two and a half kilowatt because it didn't do the whole, well I suspected that it didn't recirculate, it, it constantly pulled in cold air from outside throughout the whole night and that's why in, in five minus or zero, I don't remember what the temperature was, but it wasn't that cold. It was basically uh, consuming the same, or it was pulling the same power as minus 20 here. Okay, you see, you see the difference here? So my point with the previous video was that there is a bug or a feature, uh, a bad, bad design, where Tesla should redesign the camp mode to do the same thing that we, what we saw here, which is that it will recirculate and alternate between recirculation on and off. And by doing that, you can save a lot of energy. Yes. Uh, so again, I also wanted to crush some myth because um, so many people, they think that, oh, you know, uh, Tesla with heat pump, I mean, no heat, heat pump in Tesla is going to be bad, uh, especially if it's really cold and it will suffer big time. Well, apparently when we are camping, uh, no big deal. And also by the, by, for the record, the next day, uh, the battery was pretty cold. I preheated the car and battery, so uh, no problem there. And when I started driving, it was minus 20, and I think it dropped to minus 10 uh, on the first leg. No problem. I didn't get. I didn't see insane high consumption. It was actually around 220 only, uh, even in that cold weather. So of course, uh, some of you guys be like, ah, you know, that's not proper cold weather. Try minus 30. Well. This year has been a weird winter. I haven't seen minus 30 yet. I would love to challenge this car and, and, and try to challenge it uh, with minus 20 uh, or maybe colder. But uh, because of uh, climate change, then we have to expect only minus 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.